session, we looked at the six different areas where you could set some things to do on your bucket list. We looked at activities, things to do, home and house, where you like to live, things to do with your family, mental activities like learning chess or a new language, arts and crafts like pottery and music, and travel. Of course, travel at the moment is pretty much going to be restricted to Australia and New Zealand, but it's good to put some things on there. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever said to yourself, I thought it might be fun to, one day I thought I might like to, I've always wanted to, well today you might have thought, I thought I might like to take up cycling one day. Because today we're going to look at getting on your bike. If you haven't been on your bike for a while or ever, we're going to help you get your confidence back. For those of you who are already cycling, you might be considering some rail trails in the country or maybe cycling down the Danube sometime in the future. But today we're going to focus on getting back on your bike. Tips and strategies, getting your confidence back, even if you don't have a partner to go cycling with. So, let's go cycling. So, here's an example of the bikes that I'm riding. When I first started back on the bike, I got ones with actually fatter tires than this. Then I found what has got the confidence going that, you know, just the, the regular cross trainer tire was enough. So, if you haven't been on your bike for a while, you jump on one with nice, thick, thick tires. Uh, I have a very bad neck. So I always make sure that the handlebars keep my head in a, in a position and if necessary you can actually get the handlebars raised so it doesn't put any strain on your neck. Nice comfortable seat of course, I know some countries helmets aren't compulsory but wearing a helmet just gives you more self-confidence, water bottle and then also I have the lock, I just put it, wrap it around there, take a padlock in my pocket and it's easy, jump on the bike. I do have a light if it's a bit dark if I do go early in the morning and also if you're cycling on the off-road on the bike tracks which are great for building your confidence up having a bell so having a bell just means that you can let people know that you're coming and they'll normally get their dogs out of the way and step aside for you so that's about all you need maybe you haven't been on bike for a long time and you wonder where to get started so what I'd like to suggest is if you don't have a bike, go and hire one or go to a location where you can hire one or borrow one from a friend. Get nice fat tires. And if you're not comfortable going on a cycle on your own and you want someone to go with, just go to your local community centre, ask them if they've got any cycle groups. Put into Google cycle groups near me and see what it comes up with. Or another idea is to go to meetups and you might find a cycle group through meetups. Next thing to do is jump on Google Maps and find out the cycle trails near you. Now I prefer the ones that are totally off the road rather than the dedicated lane on the road. Find the local cycleways and, try, and just build up your confidence. It doesn't matter 10 to 15 minutes, that's a good start to get you going you'll find in no time you'll be getting up to an hour. Now, of course, I suggest if you're living in a really hilly area, start off flat. So if it's not flat where you are, maybe go to a local lake, like a bush area where there's some nice flat cycling where you can pop your bike in the car or on the back, or maybe you can hire a bike there. And so until you get your confidence up, just try a nice flat, 10 to 15 minutes, do it with a friend, nice fat, sturdy bike, and have fun cycling and maybe even uh, you know make sure you get a coffee on the way make sure it's a social cycle group that you're going with too not one of those gung-ho you know lycra brigades where they just go full on so join a nice social cycle group and have fun cycling consider taking up cycling it's a lot easier than you think and it's so much fun you get to explore different places new cafes new restaurants meet some new people 
And of course, it's great for our physical and our mental health. Now, if you've already been cycling, we'd love to hear your stories of your travels and your cycles around Australia or overseas. And stay around for Everyday Legends because the lady we're speaking to today has done over 9,000 kilometers of cycling around Australia. So if you've taken up cycling over 50, we'd love to hear all about it. Just drop us a note through YouTube or Facebook and maybe you can inspire others. Welcome to Everyday Legends. This is where we feature an everyday person who seems to be living an inspired life. Someone living life to the max. And today's Everyday Legend, Lorraine Dunn, is certainly doing that. She's also known as the 70-year-old Pocket Rocket. She is director of Well Done and is a speaker, author and fitness instructor. She was awarded the Fitness Network Lifetime Achievement Award in 2005 and her expertise includes aqua fitness, gentle exercise, falls prevention, healthy aging, personal and professional development. Lorraine was also awarded the Australian Fitness Professional of the Year by the New South Wales Women in Business Program. And her list goes on and on. But it's the things that she's done outside of her career that me and others find so inspiring. In her 50s, Lorraine went back to university and did a degree, a Masters in Applied Science. And that wasn't enough. She went back and did another Masters specializing in exercise and aging. And in 2009, she went on what was rather sometimes a terrifying experience following the Silk Road from Turkmenistan to Kyrgyzstan. And this involved running up to 30 kilometers a day. Lorraine also did a safari in Africa, starting in Kenya and working her way down to South Africa. And on the way, she went whitewater rafting on the White Nile and on the Zambezi, quad dune biking, walking with the gorillas, climbing up Mount Kilimanjaro, and skydiving in the Namibian desert. And it doesn't stop there. In her late 60s, Lorraine found love again. There's hope for all of us. And she found love again while she was cycling on her own across the Nullarbor. So, Lorraine has cycled over 9,000 kilometers around Australia and from the top of the UK all the way to the bottom. Among the many things that Lorraine still wants to do that are on her bucket list, she wants to cycle from Darwin to Perth, 4,000 kilometers, Darwin to Adelaide, 3,000 kilometers, and Perth to Albany. She also wants to cycle in New Zealand and climb the 10 peaks of Kosciuszko in one day. And while she's doing all that, she wants to sleep under the stars as much as possible. Now, when I asked Lorraine what keeps her motivated, she said it was about valuing life, valuing the human body. She is so very grateful that her body has enabled her to do all these amazing things. And what words of advice does she have for making the most of life? She said that you need to ask yourself this question. How do I do it? And then just do it. And trust 
and know that you're going to be safe and it's all going to be okay. Lorraine Dunn, Everyday Legend. Thanks for watching Over 50 So What? Fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. This show is for anyone over 50 who wants to be inspired and who wants to inspire others. If you're looking for some more fun, easy fitness videos, be sure to jump on YouTube, Over 50 So What? And there's plenty of videos there for you. Please also write to us and tell us who inspires you in the community. And let us know what sorts of things you might have on your bucket list. We'd love to hear from you. The two major points from today, the small things make the big difference and start wherever you are now. Start wherever you are now. Life's too short. One push up a day. Let's have some fun together. We'll see you again soon. I'm Carol, over 50. So what? <music>